Exactly. You're not my family. I wrote an email to my father that simply said, Help me, Dad, please. Reading it now, it seems quite pathetic. At the time I wrote it, I was desperate. I'm not sure what I was begging for, but I was going to the wrong source. He answered my email with some bullshit reply about going back to an old line church so I wouldn't be so miserable. Here's my reply to him. I always thought nothing bothered you, but it seems some things do. You told me that if I go to an old line church, I wouldn't be so miserable. Does my misery bother you because you helped create some of it? Or am I wishfully thinking? What do you do with all the flashbacks that your mind has of the past? How do you keep them from coming to you in the night hours? That was my reply. Today, that fight in me has passed. I said to him all the things I needed to say. When he died, I knew his death would not bring me peace. The peace I found is an eternal peace that was gifted to me by my father. My adopted father, that is. He's not of this kingdom, and I'm so grateful he found me and called me by name. I now let him do the fighting for me. I have ceased the battle with the family I was born into. I realize now that just to pass through them, that's why I was sent through them, but that I was not one of them. That didn't come easy. I wanted to be seen by them. I didn't expect the gift of kindness or even to be invited into their homes. I just wanted them to see my pain, my struggles, the truth. Today, after many years of healing, I no longer care about any of that. I had to come through that family just to find my place in this world. They are no longer me, and I am no longer them. I am free. The Lord says this to you, Be not afraid or dismayed at the great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Second Chronicles 2015